Hello Grade Nines, this is Mr. Miller and welcome to an extra video for Chapter 8 on Solving Equations and this is just how you can use this Algebra Balance Scales Virtual Manipulative Online to help you understand a little bit about solving equations in Chapter 8. So in Chapter 8 at the end we got to the point where we had these six steps that we could use to solve any equation and um, this particular manipulative uh, will um, model equations where it won't be necessary to take steps one, two, or three. So in other words, there won't be any need to multiply by a least common multiple or a power of 10 because there will be no fractions and no decimals involved in the equation. Um, there won't be any brackets in the equation. There won't be any simplifying necessary. Um, but what we may need to do is at least move variable terms to one side of the equation and constant terms to the other side of the equation and then divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the variable. So let's see what that looks like here. We'll go through the steps for sort of an easy example first and then get into a more tricky one. Hopefully at the end of this you'll be able to use this manipulative to practice your skills in solving equations. So let's have a look. The equation is 3x minus 2 equals 7. So first off we want to put three unknown sized weights and then we want to have two uh, negative one balloons and on the other side we want to have seven positive one weights. And now we can click continue. So from here we're going to do operations to both sides of the equation. So of course, an equation is like a balance, and we want to maintain that balance. So whatever we do to the left-hand side here, the left-hand side 3x minus 2, we want to do the same thing to the right-hand side. The right-hand side is 7. So taking a look at step 4, moving all the variables to one side of the equation, well, we already have the variable x, or we have a term 3x, which is on the left-hand side. We're going to leave it there. So really we just need to look at the next step, move all the constant terms to the other side of the equation. Since we have the variable term on the left side of the equation, we'd like to have all the constant terms on the right side of the equation. Here's a constant term, negative 2. We'd like to remove it from this side. And likewise, we'd like to get rid of these negative 2 balloons. So we can achieve that by adding 2 to both sides of the equation. And when we do that, you notice that the two red balloons go away and we get two more of these weights here. So adding two to negative two gives us zero. So we're just left with a three X on the left side of the equation and adding two to the seven gives us nine on the right side of the equation. So the only step remaining is to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the variable. Here's the variable X and here's its coefficient three. So if we divide both sides of the equation by 3, then what you'll find is we get one-third of the blocks here and one-third of the blocks there. So that gives us a single x block, and we have 3 <clears throat> instead of the 9 that we had. And likewise, the equation, we get a third of 3x, which is 1x, and a third of 9, which is 3. And this is the solution of the equation. We have x equals 3. We found out what is the weight of this unknown block. It's equivalent to 3. So let's go on to a new problem and try this one out. This one is a little bit more difficult because it's got variables on both sides of the equation. But steps 4, 5, and 6 will take care of it. Let's see how that plays out. First off, I need to put 1, 2, 3, 4 x's on this side, and as well the negative 1, and I need to put positive 2 x on this side, as well as the positive 1. Now, if I would like to have the variables on the left side as I did before, um, step 4, moving all the variable terms to one side of the equation, and if we decide that's going to be on the left side, then this term 2x that we currently have on the right, we want to remove it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 2x 
from the right and also from the left. So that's going to remove two of these x's and two of those x's. And you see when I subtract the 2x, I'm just left with the 1 on the right. And when I subtract the 2x here, I'm just left with the 2x on the left. And still we have this negative 1 term. So I've effectively moved all the variable terms to one side of the equation. The equation now only has a variable term on the left. Now I'd like to have the constant terms on the other side of the equation, so in other words, the right side of the equation. So currently we have this constant term that's on the left, we'd like to get rid of it. Since it's a negative one, we're going to add one, because negative one plus one gives us zero. So that's gonna pop this balloon and it's gonna add a one weight to the other side. And what we see in the equation is that the negative one plus one gives us zero, so we're just left with the two x on the left. And adding one to one, we have two. So now the final step, after we've moved all the variable terms to one side, the constant terms to the other side, is we divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the variable. Um, the variable here is x, the coefficient is two, so we're gonna divide both sides by two and that's gonna give half the blocks here, half the blocks there, a single x matching up with one. Now we have our solution. So I'll go through one more example just as a final extra bit of practice and let's see if we can get out something a little bit more complicated. Um, let's do this and um, how about if I choose to switch things around by having the variables on the right side and the constants on the left, just for a little bit of a change. Um, so, but first off, I have to set this up. So I've got my negative 2x plus 1, and on the other side, I've got negative 4x, and I've got plus 3. Now I can continue. So step four, moving all of the variable terms to one side of the equation, and I'm deciding that I wanna have my variables on the right this time. So here's a variable term on the left, and I wanna get rid of it from this side. If I want to remove the negative four x, I have to add four x. So notice I'm adding the opposite here. So adding four x to both sides, it's gonna get rid of those negative four x balloons, and 4x, so it's going to get rid of those two negative x balloons, and then there should be two positive x weights that result. Just like when you look at the equation here, adding 4x to this side, negative 4x plus 4x is 0, we just have the 3 remaining on the left side of the equals, and adding 4x to the negative 2x gives us positive 2x on the right side of the equation. And so now that we've moved all the variable terms to one side of the equation, the right, we wanna move all the constant terms to the other side of the equation, the left. So I'm gonna take this um, plus one we've, we've got on this side, and I'm gonna subtract one to get rid of it. So getting rid of that one weight, getting rid of that plus one, and it's gonna get rid of one of these as well because it's gonna subtract one from both sides. So now we have two x balancing out with two, and last step is to divide both sides of the equation by the coefficient of the variable. So we divide both sides by two, and there we go. We have a single x matching up with a single one weight. Well, okay, maybe I'll do just one more. I'd like to show you one more um, to show you what happens when we have a negative coefficient of a variable here. So we've got negative 4x um, plus 5 and balanced with 1. So now we continue on here, so we want to move all the variable terms to one side of the equation. Well, we've only got variable terms on the left, so we're going to move the constant terms, as is specified in step number five, to the right. So we're going to subtract five from both sides of the equation. That gets rid of those five blocks, 
and it gets rid of the single block that we had there and we have four negative balloons as a result. So the last step, dividing both sides by the coefficient of the variable, it's important to know that what you need to divide by is negative four here. So dividing both sides by negative four will give you positive x equals positive one. Negative four x divided by negative four is positive one x and negative four divided by negative four is one. Okay, so that's it. Hopefully you get a chance to play around with this manipulative at home and gives you some extra practice with solving some equations without having to do a whole lot of writing. Um, all the writing is done for you really and modeling it with um, uh, this uh, manipulative but it's a virtual manipulative because it's on the computer. Um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask in class and um, we'll see you then.